Aloha, Trevor Doge here. Trevor of the Tropics is my YouTube. And today, I want to show you a place that is near and dear to my heart. Kanakiki. I really like this place. It is one of the oldest permaculture farms in on the Big Island. And it has an assortment of fruit. And I'll put a list of all the things that it has, but uh, here are a few right off the top. Rambutan, coconut, mame sapote, apple, apple bananas, Cuban red bananas, jibotacaba, champa dak. Oh, I see some rambutan over here. I mean, this place is amazing. They just got fruit falling off the trees everywhere. Look, look at the size of this thing. It's very impressive. But here's my favorite tree on the whole property, perhaps. The Champadak tree. Oh, it looks like it's been chopped a little bit. But anyways, there's a chompa deck. Not ready. There's some rambutan on the tree. Here's some mame sapote. Huh. I don't know if this is jackfruit or champa deck. Then maybe I'll just be small jackfruits, but. Hmm. There we go. Tell me what it is on the comment section. I have no idea. There's for sure jackfruit. Um, what else do we have here? I love how many coconuts they have on this property. It's amazing. You could drink coconuts every day here if you needed to. And so many jackfruit. So Kanakiki has um, changed management a few times. It uh, used to be a primal place um, where people would eat raw meat and now it's become a raw vegan place. They sold the land, the, the meat eaters, and to some uh, frugivores. So now it's a vegan community. Funny how things can go 180. Wow, I really love this place. Well, here's an epic star fruit tree. Seems to have gone pow, which means they no longer have any fruit bearing on it. There's an avocado tree. You can see if you look close. I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, there's a lot of little avocados starting. This place has more avocados than one knows what to do with. All types, varieties, shapes. It's impressive. This is the kind of place where you walk around and, and find a meal by accident. It is incredible. Bananas galore. And the situation of this property is, like where it's situated, incredible. There's a, a thermal pool, um, naturally located right next to the ocean, and it's a very um, nature-esque little place to be. I'm just picking up these avocados. Look at this tiny little thing. Does it have any fruit? Kind of. Not really. Anyways, there are tons of avocados here. I don't need to scrounge for the little ones. Um, yeah, so here's the main area where everybody hangs out. This um, place has been on a lot of vi uh, videos 
if you ever um, watch, Je I think it's Jenna in the jungle, kind of like Trevor in the tropics. She actually goes here. She's standing right there at the corner. And in fact, she's talking about Relinia, which is kind of odd because there's a bunch of Biraba right here. Interestingly enough. And wow, they've really done a good job at harvesting all these avocados. Um, they got some cacao, bananas. Wow, they've really done a number on this. Oh, they have a lot of tomatoes. Cool, I wonder where those came from. It's been a while since I've been back here. Cool. Wow, they got a weight set. Nice. So this is what it's like to live in the tropics and uh, grow your own food. It's abundant. Tons of avocado. Like I said, this is an avocado heaven. Need avos. Come here. Ooh, can you see that? There you go. Not ripe quite yet. Except for that one. That one's ripe. Anywho, that was only the front three acres. There's a back 15, which I'll show you in a bit. Still recording? Cool. Hey Bill, do you think I can do a quickie interview? I'm just, I'm still recording. Do you think I can do a quickie interview? Sure. Okay, so this is Bill. Hello. He's a member uh, slash, you know, prime, you know, important character in this uh, community. Whew, that was hard to force out. Anywho, um, yeah, so Bill, you want to uh, tell them about yourself? Well, a little bit. Uh, I'm a retired high school teacher, taught high school in the uh, Midwest uh, for 36 years, retired, and uh, we found out about the community here, and we moved from St. Louis, Missouri here in 2011, 2000, I think it was 11, 10 or 11, mm -hmm. so this is about four years for me now, and I'm, I'm the guy that uh, takes care of the solar batteries, the solar system, the water pumps, and the electrical, and the plumbing, and the maintenance of the buildings, and the maintenance of the equipment and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. um, could you maybe tell them uh, about membership? Like, um, like I know you're, you're interested in, in taking on members, potentially, or, or at this uh, moment, are you, is there a hiatus for a moment? Well, we're, um, we're tying up some loose ends on some things that were not taken care of in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure when we when we offer people membership, we can offer them as something substantial and they know exactly what they're being offered. Mm -hmm. There's no, oh, well, we'll try to do this or, oh, gosh, this is a surprise. We didn't know that. So mm -hmm. we're trying to eliminate any of that unknown and make sure that people get what they Get to have a quality, you know, product and mm -hmm. and yeah, we'd love to have members if they're uh, low fat, raw vegan. Right, and, that's uh, one of the important points. Want to live in the tropics and live in community and uh, work with other people uh, and sometimes work alone. Uh, also, we um, uh, yeah, we love families. We love kids. Kids have been a part of my life, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, we're looking for young, old, medium, whatever. Um, as full-time, we're looking for people who want to live here full-time. Mm -hmm. um, the part-time makes it a little difficult on everybody else who lives here full-time. Mm -hmm. So, but if you uh, are interested, there's a website. Um, I, I don't know whether it's under Moana Ula or Kanakiki. Okay, you'll have to look into that on your own. Yeah, I'll yeah. send a link. I'll look for it. Actually, I'll send a link down below. Okay. I'll try to figure these things out. And, um, uh, yeah. and you contact Barb Cuttins, and she's the guy. She's the gal that takes care of all the woofers and interns. We have an intern program. We have a, woof, a woofing program. Uh, people want to get an experience. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is a very inviting place, and you know, Bill's a great guy for helping be one of the pillars here. We really do need him here. So thanks, thanks for just being oh, a great, well. you know, beacon of light and helping people to find a great diet and a great lifestyle. I really appreciate that. Yeah, we uh, we appreciated you. All right. Thanks. Cool. I'm gonna show the the back 15 now. That's all right. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Peace. Great. So we're in the back 15 acres here. Lots of bananas. 
and jackfruits, coconuts, The cool thing about Kankiki is that they have a greenhouse. And I'll show you it in a moment. It's always nice to have a greenhouse and a screen house. Here's the tomatoes. Yeah, nice screen house for growing stuff. Let's check out what's going on in here. Kale. This the kale is really good. I don't know what kind it is. Might be dinosaur kale, but somebody said it was something different. And it was really prolific stuff. Collars. Kale. Lettuce, <laughs> mulberry, mm. marigold, strawberry. Yeah, really nice greenhouse. Really nicely done. There's some cane grass. There's some sort of grass. Grass grows really fast here in Hawaii. There's a huge patch of bananas and it just goes on and on and on. I'll walk you the length of that. Here's a row of tangerine. And here's a row of avocado. Like I said, this place is an avocado heaven. Now of course avocado is predominantly fat-based, and you wouldn't want to make that a staple in your diet, but it is a pleasurable food, which I partake in from time to time. Very seldom I try. But sometimes the willpower is low, and I want to comfort food, so I like the numbing effect that fat gives once in a while, but I make sure that I don't overdo it, and I know that I'm having something that may not be the best for me. People may disagree comment section down below. This is where the bananas end. A lot of jackfruit too, not just avocado, but jackfruit they do have quite a bit of. This one looks pretty good, but uh, fruit flies are obviously getting at it. Keeping fruit flies away is a really difficult task. Now what do we have here? Um, well, there's some birba or relinia growing on that tree. Um, I know there's some figs behind me, but I want to show you some of the stuff they have over here because it is interesting as well. They have some mame sapote. They have some cacao. Um, this place used to be more of a superfoods raw food place before the uh, AD10 or before Kankiki came in, so it has uh, quite a few um, superfood trees like cacao. Um, and noni, which are obviously not something you can make a staple of, but are kind of fun to play around with. I like the taste of the cacao jelly, and, you know, a little noni here and there is not too bad. Um, what else do we have? Bananas. Neighbors. What else we got here? Breadfruit. Sorry if I'm going a little fast for y'all, but I know this place pretty well and I like to show you all of it very quickly so you don't get bored. So this is a fine balance I have to keep. Wow, this cucur bit is really prolific. Wow, it's a jungle out here. 
but I like it that way. Yeah, there's the fig tree. It's getting shaded a little bit. But I got a fig off of it once. <laughs> once. But still, it's a good tree and it could be brought back to life. Oh, there's a mommy apple. It's all right. It has like apricot kind of taste. Here are some citrus trees. Right beside a banana grove. Here's some Thai coconuts. Here in Hawaii, pretty cool. Hey, little coconut. Okay. In here, there should be a millennia tree. Oh, there it is. I see it. There's one. And there's two. That one is littered with relidia. Some more bananas. More bananas. Eureka palm. Epic big mango trees planted by King Kamea and Maya's men many, many years ago. <clears throat> it looks like somebody was harvesting the Chico Zapote. There's Chico. I just tried that recently. Wow, it is good. A pear dipped in brown sugar, I once heard, and it's a pretty accurate portrayal of the Chico Zapote. More bananas. I just love the epically old trees here, like they've been here for decades. Yeah, jackfruit. Um, wow, there's a choke tree. Choke is a term that we use for a tree that has a <clears throat> that has a lot of fruit on it. Check that out. There's your answer to world hunger. Oh, there's another one. It's just incredible. Imagine if we planted fruit trees along every highway. Wouldn't that be something? And there's some mango trees. These ones are kind of small. More of that tree, which is either a champadac or a jackfruit, I can't figure out right now. Okay. Bamboo. I think that's a jackfruit. Yeah, that's just a pow. There's a coconut. Or maybe this was the jackfruit I was referring to, which seems to be... <laughs> Perpetually fruiting. You can see there's a jackfruit up there that needs eating. This is a champa jack, a hybrid between champa dak and jackfruit. The best of both worlds. This is a morong fruit. I never got to see this into fruition. It's a beautiful tree with big leaves. Kind of like breadfruit. Although breadfruit has a different design for its leaves. Here's a lot of bamboo. Some more coconuts. Ooh, mulberries are back in action. You can find this in Canada. It's good. 
I like to eat this when I go on runs in Canada. There's some citrus over here. A lot of bananas over here. There's a few durian trees over there. This is Durian territory. And there's a beehive, don't want to get too close to that. Yeah, that's a Durian tree. That's, wait, yeah, that's a Durian tree. That's, I think, Durian. I think there's a Relinia over there. But, uh, yeah. A lot of cane grass here in the tropics. I cut this a few months ago and now it's already above my head. Those are the neighbors' dogs. They don't sound very friendly. But they're on the other side of the fence so they can't hurt me. Hey, puppy. How's it going? Banana tree. Hey. Here's another cool hut. And a uh, cool banana patch just chilling right beside it. Whew. Cane grass is a never ending battle, but they uh, intelligently have started planting peanut grass, so that operation shall take care of that. So they don't have to constantly battle this hydra. A pig trap. Pigs are a big difficulty here in Hawaii, but Kankiki has fenced off their entire 15, well 18 acres into 15 in the back and 3 in the front, and are only dealing with about, I believe, 5 pigs on this property, whereas before they had upwards of 30, I believe. So if you're coming to Hawaii, remember, there are going to be pigs, and lots of them. Okay, so there's my video of Kankiki. Hope you enjoyed it, and um, catch you on the next one. Aloha.